What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Josh back with another video and today in this video I'm going to be giving you guys a haircut tutorial but before we get into this video I want to talk to you guys a little bit real quick if you guys watched my previous video you guys know I'm almost at 100,000 subscribers right now I'm like 700 subscribers away and if you don't know I'm going to be doing a 100k giveaway but make sure you are subscribed and you got that notification bell on so you don't miss out on when I drop the video on how to enter the win because I want everybody to have a chance to win and I'm super excited to do this giveaway so make sure you guys are subscribed but right now we're about to head to the shop so we can go record the video let's get it so y'all so you know we at the shop right now so we're going on my client to pull up and we're gonna get right into this haircut tutorial hey right, y'all check out my kicks for the day you know i got the off-white air force one volts on you know what i'm saying had to do it what's good youtube and we here back with another haircut tutorial in this tutorial i'm going to be giving my little man a taper fade and we're going to be taking the top down to a one and a half with the grain As always, you know you want to make sure you comb or pick out the hair thoroughly into its natural position so when you cut the hair it'll be a smooth process and you can kind of get an idea of how the hair grows naturally. So to start off this haircut, I went in with my number 2 guard and I went with the grain around the whole head. And I started with my number 2 guard because you know he had an afro and we couldn't see through his afro so we wanted to make sure that we didn't cut his hair too low to plug him or leave any bald spots. So after I went in with my number 2 guard and kind of got a feeling of how his hair grew and everything, I, w I eventually went in with my 1.5 guard to finish it off. So right here is when I switch to the number one and a half guard, going with the grain, going all the way around the head. So right here we're going to start our fading process. I'm going to go in with my number 2 guard with the lever all the way closed and go against the grain just to start off my fading area. So our first guideline that we're going to create is our ball line and I'm going to be using my Babbage Gold FX trimmer to set it in making a triangle like shape and the reason why you want to do a triangle like shape is because when we're doing a burst taper you want to leave like your uh corners darker so this kind of preserves your corners and leave them darker when you start off your fade like that so right here i'm going in with my cordless magic clips with the lever all the way open going up about a half an inch setting in my next guideline and right here i'm just going to close the lever halfway and just start under the line and flick up to the line blending it right out So right after I take out that guideline, I'm going to go in with my number one guard with the lever all the way closed and go up about another half an inch, keeping my um, guideline at an arch angle so I can leave the corners dark and we're just going up about a half an inch. And to take out that guideline, I'm going to come back with my half guard with the lever all the way closed and just start up under the line and flick up to the line. So now we're going to do our fading down process. Now I'm going to come back with the guard that I started with, the number two guard all the way closed. And right after I go in with my number two guard, I'm going to come back with my number one and a half guard. Starting up under the line, flicking right up to it in that dark area, and that's what we're going to do as we're fading down. Right after I go in with my one and a half guard, I drop down to my number one guard with the lever all the way open. 
This is gonna connect that one guard close guy line with the rest of the hair. And pretty much for the rest of this side taper, we're gonna just be doing some detail work. So moving on to the neck taper, we're going to start by creating our first guideline, which is the ball line using the same trimmers that we use on the side taper, just cleaning out this area for our guideline. Right after setting in our first guideline, we're going to come in and create our next guideline, which will be with my wall cordless magic clips with the lever all the way open going up about a half an inch so right after setting in the guideline I'm going to come back with the cordless magic clips with the lever halfway closed starting up under the line and just flicking right up to the line blending that line out now sometimes when you're blending with the lever halfway closed it might not work that way every time so sometimes you have to adjust your lever to get a precise cut. Creating my next guideline I'm going to use my number one guard with the lever all the way closed going up about a half an inch. And to take out that guideline, we're going to come back with our half guard, just starting up under the line, flicking right up to it. So right here, I'm going to start my down fading technique, just like how we did on the side taper. I'm going to start with the number two guard and then just walk down to the one and a half, then to the one open. And then from that point on, I'm going to just be doing some detail work. And right here, I slap my number one guard back on. Now it's time to prep the lineup. I'm going with the grain across the front with the number one guard open with the grain. And right here, I'm just gonna be applying some holding spray. And then I'm gonna blow dry it to lock it down to get the hair to stay stiff while we get ready to do this lineup. So on his lineup, I'm gonna be using my cordless wall detailers. And right now, I'm just gonna let you guys sit back and watch his lineup change his whole look at his haircut.
Y'all already knew that neckline was gonna be something serious. Look how crispy it is. It just brings that neck taper and that side taper together so seamlessly. When you do that clean fire neckline, like, it's crazy. But YouTube, this is the before. We definitely made my little man look good. He's gonna be the freshest guy in school now. Shout out to Josh X Barber on this one. Gave him a fire taper fade. But YouTube, without further ado, this is the cut. Let me know what you guys think about this taper in the comments. Make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel so you won't miss out for my 100K giveaway. And make sure you guys hit that notification bell. And if you guys don't mind, go check out my Instagram at the top. As you guys can see, at Josh X Barber. Go give me a follow and check out some of my content. I'll be dropping nothing but fire. But YouTube, this is your boy Josh. Until next time, peace.